First of all, I'd like to thank all my subscribers who've um, supported me and passed on help and advice. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Uh, yesterday, um, I took the dog to Scarborough for a walk on the beach. And on the way, I called in at uh, Snainton uh, wood, Woodworking and Wood Turning. And I bought a few bowl blanks. Um, and today, I'm going to make something out of one of those bowl blanks. But before we get on to that, um, I thought I'd cover a, a couple of other things. Uh, first of all, I've been working on a, a bit of a, a logo for branding. And uh, I've come up with this. Now, I've just got some feedback from the branding iron company. And they say that my lettering is going to be too small for the size of branding I'm looking for. So, I'm going to have to sort of do a bit more work on that. So that's work in progress. So you might see more of that later on. Uh, secondly, um, I've decided I'm going to try out this old 100mm uh, Canon lens, which have got a converter, which uh, will allow it to attach to the Sony A6000, which this video is currently uh, being recorded on. Um, so really, I, I want to get in a bit more closer um, to the work uh, to be able to show you in a bit more detail some of the cuts I'm doing. Um, but anyway, more on that at the end of the video if I've got time. So this is one of the uh, blanks I got um, yesterday and it's a piece of U and I've never turned U before. Um, I think it can be quite nice looking um, depending obviously on the piece of wood that you get. Um, so today I'm going to have a go at making a little potpourri bowl. Um, and if that don't work it'll just be a normal bowl. But I've got one of these little things that will go on top so that'll be the idea. Um, I'll try and make it enclosed. I like enclosed bowls at the moment. Um, so we'll see how we get on with that. So I've just put a little face plate on this uh, bowl blank. So I shall just troop the uh, face in the side. Great bowl gap. Using my uh, little dovetail scraper, I'm going to create a dovetail about 26 millimeters in diameter.
to shape the underside of the bowl. Um, I'm going to go from this point here, which is where the foot will be, and a slight curve around um, to a point that's two thirds in on the depth of the bowl. And then the other top third will be rounded for the top. So again, using my 3 8 bowl gouge. Okay, so I'm just going to sand this down to 400. Okay, so after uh, sanding to 400, I applied two coats of uh, cellular sanding sealer, then Yorkshire grit, and then uh, wood wax 22, and then uh, microcrystalline wax. And uh, it's a pretty good result at the moment. Some very, very fine cracks in there, um, but I think that'll be a feature of it. Otherwise, very happy. Okay, so uh, I've trued up the face and put a couple of guidelines on here. So the outer one matches the outside of this lid and the inside one is where I'm going to hollow the bowl out up to, which should coincide with these lugs here. So I'm not too sure how it's going to fit, so rather than do this edge here which I would normally do at this stage. I'm going to hollow out the inside of the bowl first. Thirteen hundred reds.
so now I'm going to use this multi-tip hollowing tool. Uh, what I do with this before doing any work is uh, just give it a, a quick sharpen with this diamond file. Just put an edge on it like that. Okay, so uh, I'm quite happy with the shape. It's got a um, slight undercut on it, which looks pretty good. Um, so now I'll uh, sort of curve the outside edge. this parting tool to create the um, sort of insert area where the lid's going to fit. It's a shame I couldn't get more of a curve on that, um, but it's just due to the uh, sort of width of the bowl, really. Um, so anyway, what I'll do is I'll uh, do the usual sand into 400, uh, put the cellulose sanding sealer on, the Yorkshire grit, wood wax 22, 
and the Hatchashim microcrystalline wax. And let's see what we end up with. Okay, so I finished the bowl, um, but before I show you it, I'll tell you a bit more about my uh, video setup. So I'd use this 100mm Canon EF lens um, together with a Photodiox Pro converter, so it converts the EF to a Sony E mount which fits on the Sony A6000 camera. Um, I took the video at f10 and the camera was about a metre away from the actual lathe uh, tools and the bowl. Um, so that actually meant that I'd only probably got about four centimetres um, in the focal range so it was quite important to get accurate focus focusing. Um, the good thing with the Sony camera is that it highlights the areas that are in focus when, when you do manual focusing so that's a great, a great feature of the camera. Um, I'll also um, put up a, a couple of stills now to show you um, what my setup looked like when I uh, took the video. Anyway, back to the bowl. So this was the first time I uh, have tried you and uh, I found it really, really nice to turn. Uh, sometimes it just, it just, it's just like butter. It's, it's really, really nice. The, the actual uh, grain in the piece of wood is very good as well. Um, anyway, I'll show you some close-ups and I hope you like it. Thank you.